Hello, my name is Johnny Blair and this is the Daily Reflection for Wednesday the 11th of November. A very significant day, the 11th of the 11th, and at 11 o'clock many of us may pause to reflect with huge gratitude for all of those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in defending their nation. And this psalm that we're looking at today, which is Psalm 23, I do encourage you to read it and allow it to soak into you. It's a great psalm. It talks about a God who delights in us and lead us, leads us into green pastures, who delights in us and is with us even in the toughest and darkest times. I remember when I first heard someone talking about shepherds in the day that this was written, in the day of David, that who would go before the sheep. They weren't rounding up the sheep from behind and driving them forward. No, they were going before the sheep and they were calling out to the sheep and the sheep would follow them because they'd recognise their voice, recognise the shepherd's voice. And the shepherd would have a look for good pasture and lead them in then into green pasture into better place for them to feed. And if he couldn't find it, he would take them into a different place. And if there was really nowhere better, he would be with them, guiding them and helping them to get the best out of any situation. And I think that's a wonderful picture of who God is for us, always wanting the best for us. I make no apologies, I'm going to read Psalm 23 in full. But this is from the Passion Translation, which you may not be familiar with. And I think it gives a beautiful account and a really helpful rendition of these words. The Lord is my best friend and my shepherd. I always have more than enough. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace, the quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along in his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honour to his name. Lord, even when your path takes me through the valley of deepest darkness, fear will never conquer me, for you already have. You remain close to me and lead me through it all the way. Your authority is my strength and my peace. The comfort of your love takes away my fear. I'll never be lonely, for you are near. You become my delicious feast, even when my enemies dare to fight. You anoint me with a fragrance of your Holy Spirit. You give me all I can drink of you until my heart overflows. So why would I fear the future? For your goodness and your love pursue me all the days of my life. Then afterward, when my life is through, I'll return to your glorious presence to be forever with you. Oh, what wonderful words, describing the most fantastic, generous, gracious, loving God. So why wouldn't we come to him in prayer? He longs for us to do. He longs for us to come before him, knowing that he is there with us. He is the shepherd who knows our voice and wants to hear our voice. We can come to him knowing that in the security of his love, we can trust that he, in him that he wants the best for our lives. So let's use Psalm 23 to rejoice and delight in God. And as we come to him with our petitions, to do so confident that he wants our best. And as we go into today, 
as you go into your day, using the church calendar for this time of year. Here are some thoughts about who you might pray for today. For the day and its tasks, for the world and its needs, and for the church and her life. And today in particular, we are encouraged to pray for businesses, the workplace and economic well-being. May you journey this day in prayer and in the grace and love of God. Amen.